Hello guys! Alright, I have just finished making almond milk in my Blendtec and I'm going to try to make almond flour. So this is the pulp. It's I've squeezed it out, it's moist obviously and clumpy and I'm just going to let it air dry and I will, when it's dry, blend it up and see how it turns out. So. Just showing you step one of this, and I will get to step two when this is dry and ready. Thanks for watching. Okay, now with regards to my almond pulp, I did find I left it out overnight to dry, and it's really not like coconut pulp. Coconut pulp seems to dry without um, turning sour. By the next morning, this started to get a sourish smell to it. So I put it in the oven. And probably too long but really the purpose of this at this point is just to see how well this turns into flour so I'm gonna put it in my Blendtec and um, pulverize it okay so this is the pulp in my um, Blendtec the dried pulp and I'm just gonna put it to uh, you know I'm gonna put it to, to 10 the highest setting on here Alright, I let this run the full 50 seconds, although it did not need to, but I did anyway. And I have to tell you, wow, this is like a fine powder. And it smells good. So compared to like the, the coconut flour that doesn't become quite as fine, this is a powder right here. This is nice. Um, now I know I consider this, although I'm not an expert, but I consider this to be almond flour. Uh, whereas almond uh, meal is really, you know, full almonds ground up, and therefore, you know, they're ground up to a certain point where it's fine, but um, if you keep going, you're going to get almond butter. So this, therefore, would have the natural oils, I believe, uh, from the almond out of it. Um, there's no chance of this turning into almond butter. And therefore, I don't know how it will translate into baking certain things. For example, I know people use almond meal, uh, or the full almond flour for pie crusts, and I can see where that would make a certainly nice flaky pie crust. Um, but I'm going to try this, and I'm definitely going to try it in pancakes or something, or maybe some muffins with the coconut flour. Um, actually, I think I saw a cookie recipe that I'm going to try with this. So I've made my almond flour from the almond pulp, worked perfectly, and I am now going to try a recipe, because that's really the true test. Is it edible? There you go. This is this is the almond flour. Nice.